cute when Cam was like pointing at my mole and he like ouchie. <laughs> it was the cutest thing ever I've seen in my life. It was adorable. Now I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. You're I'm going to sleep. Good night. You're going to bed. I'm so fucking tired, dude. Oh, the girls were back together. They brought them back together. Huh? The girls are back together. Yeah. What did you guys do today? Have you seen your mom? Did Aaron figure out his car problem? We called somebody who is a mechanic. Colito. They think it's a timing belt. Whatever. Timing chain. Ow! Get your nasty ass paws off of this blanket. Oh, jeez, I swear to God, boy, I, I will, I will, boy. Just shut up. Blueberry. Danny, stop. Blueberry. Oh, the engine. Oh, whatever. He's taking my car, so. <laughs> Out. I'm going back in the pool with the tent up again. I'm gonna enjoy myself tomorrow morning, all day. No, no, nobody bothering me. I'm getting my my freaking scuba snack, cleaning out the pool, filling the pool up, putting the tent up, and I'm gonna enjoy my freaking day. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Right, straight facts. I'm going to start looking for a job pretty much tomorrow, throughout the entire week. I found a couple of jobs that I'm interested in, so. Shut up with the jobs and put out a damn movie. I'm watching Identity Theft. Oh, Sandy! You. Sandy Patterson! Oh, I love her. I love when they go in the car <laughs> together. And yeah, I do the, too. She's up on the, on the table dancing. Oh, she's taking the credit card and she's like, drinks on me. Whose bathroom is that? What? Whose bathroom is that? Um, it's my bathroom. That was your bathroom? Uh, yeah. Gabby, yeah, it was our bathroom when we, we lived together in Itasca. <laughs> Gabby, that was our bathroom when we lived in Itasca. People like you don't have friends. Gabby.
Here, you want to see when he looked smaller? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, wait, I think I remember. Oh. Hi, babies. Okay, I was like, ah. I don't remember. Yeah. He's just a baby. <laughs> Those ears. <laughs> right? He's cute. Hey, Gary, are we going to go swimming tomorrow or no? Yeah. Hello. Hello. But yeah, I'm going to start looking for a job tomorrow. I already filled out a couple of applications tonight. So I already got that done. So I'm excited for that. That was when... Wait a second. That was Aaron. That was Aaron's home. Yeah. Came in when I was living with you, Aaron, and he busted through that door. That was the room. Ah. Nice. That was the room. It all went down. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Can I get off? No. Literally, I'm so tired. You're the tired? stage is yours. There's no stage. I'm going to bed, so I'm going to put TikTok on my dresser and they can just watch the Enzo sleep. <laughs> Good night, TikTok. See you tomorrow night. Good night, Danny. Good night, Monica. I love you, girl. I can't believe I'm in Florida. That's crazy, bro. Good night, girl power. Good night. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. We need a beach trip. Good night. Oh, love you too, Danny. Get some rest, girl. I will. Good night. Good night, Kelly. Love you. Good night, Danny. I hope you had an amazing day. I had a, I had a good time. I had a good time with Gabby. It was fun. Uh, I am gonna be busy tomorrow though because I am um, I am getting stuff done. I gotta go to PetSmart tomorrow and call Banfield and get that that stuff transferred over for his prescription food and gotta call a vet and get him in to get him checked out and make sure he's all good and he's you know whatnot you know get him all set up with the vet and stuff like that and see how much you know it would cost me to oh man <sighs> it's gonna be stressful tomorrow you got a new cat yeah his name is enzo he's 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 a big boy he's like 20 pounds He's laying on the bed right now next to me. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Um, obviously, Enzo is somewhere on um, 75 South on the interstate, on the side of the uh, the road. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot that he's not with me. Nope. No, he's on, he's on the interstate, unfortunately. He's on 75 South. I don't have him with me. Yeah, I don't. I, I forgot. That's what Reddit told everybody and stuff like that, that I, I drugged him and he's on 75 South. So, yep, 
He's got no food. He's got no water. He's got no nothing. You know, like whatever. <laughs> he adjusted so fast. He must feel so safe there. Yeah, no, he's doing really good, actually. He's doing phenomenal. Like, I'm really shocked. Like, he's been eating really good. What's up, Mama V? He's been eating really good. He's been drinking water. He's been going to the bathroom without crying in the litter box. So I'm just very blessed and grateful that he's he's in good he's in good hands and um, just makes me very proud that uh, I did this along with him and. He he did he did so good. He was, I'm I'm very blessed and and thankful for you know just him, you know. But I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the feeling of because everybody all the haters think that he's somewhere on 75 South and that I don't have him and that I have an iPad and that I, I'm making up like you know cat you know noises that sound like him and. All these other different scenarios, and you know, it's just it's <laughs> it's so ridiculous, dude. Let's see if you guys can see him. Can you see him? Can you see him? No, you can't see him. Can you see him? No, you can't see him. Damn, that sucks. Oh no, all the haters like they all they all think that he's on 75 self. And I'm kissing my hand, pretending that he's not here when he's strictly here. And then they think that uh I'm drugging him and you know, like it's just it's like you know, I just don't understand all these people want Wanted me to take him to the vet to get him checked out and to get him placed on medication. Like, damn if I do and damn if I don't, man. That looks good. That looks good. It's just insane. It really is. People are really bored, clearly. It's so ridiculous. It's. I don't know, guys. Just. It's absolutely sickening. Ignore them. They have no idea how things are off the app. You clearly love him. Yeah, I do love him. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Like, Danny, you made it to Florida. I did. I did. I made it. Danny, yeah, it's impossible to make everybody happy. I understand that, you know, I, I get it, just, <sighs> don't worry about the haters, everyone has them, I mean, that's right, John, you're right, you're absolutely right, you're speaking facts right there, girl, does he like his new house? Yeah, he does. I had to drive my friend's cat 26 hours. It wasn't easy. No, it wasn't. It's been it's been really rough, like. But you know he's he's doing good. Um, I have to go to the pet store and and grab some stuff for him because what he's doing is he's clawing at the. Uh, the carpet which is not good and he's taking his nails and he's he's scratching up the carpet and he's ruining it and it's just it's gonna end really bad for me and i don't know how to stop it i don't know i don't know what to do he's just i don't know he needs a scratch post that's why i'm going to pet smart tomorrow and i'm grabbing some stuff for him I guess it's been really tough. Like I have to like lock him. In, I have to lock him up in my room at night. Is it's just just tough. Like like I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Like. 
mine had a claws the baseboard at my back door. He's just not used to his new surroundings. No, he's not. My cat ruined my furniture. I'll never have another one. That's absurd. That's yep. There's an apple cider spray you can spray on potential scratch areas. This house is only temporary, girl. I know, man. I, I've been looking at, like, apartments in Florida, and it's just, like, it's so expensive. And it's been, it's going to be very difficult for me. Like, I'm just, <sighs> like, I can't find anything under a thousand dollars, bro. And it's just, I'm not. <sighs> I'm gonna have to have two jobs. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna have to really, really, really fight hard here, and then I'm gonna have to hustle. I mean, it's game time. Like, I want to be in my own house. I want to be on my own. I hate this shit. I really do. I hate it. I'm not happy. It's just. Very hard, it's very difficult. If you don't mind roommates in Fort Myers, they have four bed, four bath for a thousand a month furnished. Oh, really? I live alone, my rent is 2200 just work. I know I want a job so bad like I just want to like I want to work again man like I just I want to be able to just work like I miss it I'm feeding off of it like like I don't even feel like I'm on vacation I feel like I just want to just want to work and do what I need to do and just get out of here and get on my own two feet and you know get my get my life back man like that's all I care about. Like, I don't care about, like, going at beaches right now. I could care less, you know, going to the pool. I could care less, you know, going, like, to like, all these. Like, I don't care about it. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't even care. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even interested in doing any of that. Like, I just, like, I'd rather just stay here and look for jobs and just work and come home. Like, I don't even care about anything else except for working and saving money. Okay. You'll get there. You just you just now got there. Give yourself some time. It'll happen. I'm hoping. My sister has several properties in Jupiter, Florida. I don't know how far that is from you. Um, I don't even know where I'm at, to be honest with you. I really don't even know what cities, what towns I'm near. I don't even know. You have to hit the pavement, girly girl. Yeah, Chrissy, I know. Go to Domino's. I don't know if I want to go there anymore. I just don't know if I want to work there. Yeah, you need a you need your area first. Like, I get there's like, I know there's plenty of opportunities here and. You know, like there's fast food restaurants, you know, there's lifeguards. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what jobs are out here. Like I got a security. I can go back and, oh, security would be cool. I could go back into security work. I'd have to get my, um, oh, I'd have to get my, um, what do you call that? Um, a perk card. I have to get that. I got to get my license. Like, I mean, I just... I feel like overwhelmed, but I'm like so happy. But like, I'm. Oh, Jessica, streaming me. That's creepy as fuck. I love the laid back environment. I was doing security. Now, I used to do security for like about two years. I worked for like Securitas Security Services USA. <laughs> And uh, I was doing that for a little bit. I was working like doubles. I was making bank money there. Yeah. I don't know. Like a job's a job. And wherever the opportunity leads me, that's where I'm going to go. Like, 
I'm hoping to get a job within this week. I'm really gonna also like. I have to. I've got to get on my feet. Uh, you would be good at security. Oh, 100%, Monica. Get your real estate license. I think you'd be amazing. <laughs> I could work on that. Factory, maybe? I mean, there's a lot of jobs here. There's a lot of, like um what's in florida like i know there's fast food there's retail there's um uh um um there's there's uh there's a lot it's a holiday, so it might not happen by the end of this week. Oh, theme parks. Yep, theme parks. Um, dispensaries. Um, there's a lot. Like, my, my main focus is, like, really getting on my own park place. I want my own place so bad. It's not even funny. Like, it's not even funny. Like, <sighs> they have a pet store, Danny in Fort Myers. They do. I'll look into it. Go work for Disney. Oh, I could. I could do something like that. I'll find it. I'll. I'll, I'll find it. You could DoorDash while you're looking. You would be amazing in real estate. That's a career. I don't think I could do that, though. You could stay with family to build up some money. Make it a goal to go one place tomorrow to put an application in. I am. Um... No, like, I don't know. I'll talk to I'll talk to Aaron and see if he can help me out, and I'll talk to Gabby. I don't know, like, I'm just so used to being on my own two feet. Like, I've been on my own for four years, and living with somebody is just it's uncomfortable. It's just, it's weird. It's, like, there's rules I have to follow, and... <sighs> it just sucks. But I don't know. It's just it's tough. It's hard living with anyone. It's not just that, it's just hard. And like I'm so like used to, like I'm so like used to be independent and just doing everything on my own and working hard and it just sucks. Do you have to socialize? Wait, what? Hold on. Do you have to socialize with your roommate? No, I don't have to. Just weird. It's just, I don't know. It's like, <sighs> I don't know if I'm homesick. Like, it sucks. Okay. Amazon is always hiring. I love. We will get you out. I really want to be on my own two feet, y'all. I really do. You're just in transition, Danny. You'll adjust. I'm hoping, man. It's just hard. It's... Temporary home. Yeah, just
Oh. You got this, Danny. Thank you, Danny. I sent you a message. I'll look at it tomorrow. Like, you know how, like, you're on your own for four years and, like, you're so independent, like, you're so used to, like, doing everything on your own and, like, I just, like, I'm independent, like, I hate relying on other people, like, I don't like it, like, I hate it, it's, I hate it, I hate it, I understand totally, Danny. I hate it, man. I hate it. Like, that's probably, like, the one thing that, like, I'm getting agitated is because I'm not on my own. And it's, it's getting to me. Like, it's really getting to me. It's pissing me off. No, my roommate can't hear me. I'm good. But, I don't know, like, it is what it is, man. You're used to having your own space. I am, Beverly. I am. I'm used to like coming home and nobody's here and it's quiet, it's peaceful and it's when you're living with someone and it's their house and you gotta follow their rules and it's, it's not fun. Like, I feel like I'm a different person, like, I gotta be quiet, like, like, at like 10 o'clock, like, lights are out, like, it's over, it's done, like, you're done. Like, it's... Yeah, Pop-Tart, I'm already in the process of doing that. Like, you know how, like, when you're on your own, and, like, you don't have to, like, rely on anybody, like, you can do your own damn thing, like, you're free, and you can just, just oh, this is the worst, man, I feel like I'm in prison, I really do, I feel like I'm in prison, I feel like I'm trapped in a, you know, I just feel I I just feel trapped. I feel trapped. I would look for something small like an efficiency so you have your own space. Yeah, I know, right? You'll completely had to change up your routine, it's hard. You completely had to change up your routine, it's hard, but you'll I will adjust. Rules will make you feel that way. Do you have a curfew? Um, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, 10 o'clock is lights out. I barely go outside for a smoke. Nah, girl, if you pay to live there, you deserve freedom. Can't go for a drive, no. Yeah. 
No, I have a plan. Here we go. Did she give you chores? No, not chores. Maybe Danny's just being respectful to her roommate. I mean, I am, like, you know, she she works. I don't, like, she's got a life. I don't, you know, and just... Just, yeah. If you need a long time, go sit in your car and chill or go for a drive. You can do what you want. Didn't you know all of this before the move? Um, I did, but I didn't realize how bad it it could get. Like, I mean, I've lived with people before, and when you don't, when you don't have to pay anything for right now, and you live rent free, and you have to follow rules. I guess it's. <laughs> It's like a halfway house, man. Like, there's rules. Like, even when you have a job, there's rules. And there's boundaries and stuff like that. And I just have to respect it. Like, I just got to respect it. And it's just what it comes down to it. Like, you know, like, I'm not like a kid. Like, I'm an adult, but... It's just weird. Respect it so you can get on your own. I mean, I am. I mean, I'm trying to do that as best as I can. It's just hard, like... You know, like... Yeah, me and Aaron, like, you know, they're free. Like... I'm kind of jealous. Like, it's a place and it's temporary. It makes you more motivated. You'll get out there and get a place and a job. No, she's not married. Then stay somewhere before their their place was ready. Also, they stayed somewhere before their place was ready. Also, <laughs> yep, they sure did. You've only been there two days. Give her some grace to settle. I'm trying. Does she have any kids or just her? No, it's just her. All right, thank you for the feedback. So. You also have to consider that she doesn't know you and she has to protect herself as a woman. I was going to say maybe because of a routine with kids, but no kids, it's a little crazy, but it's a roof. Yeah, so I'm so mad. So so stupid, man. It's like, oh. I'll get on my feet. It is at least a nice place. It is, yeah. It's decent. Just. You can apply for jobs on your phone. I already, I already applied for a couple of jobs, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Universal Studios in Orlando. I don't know how far Orlando's from me. I have my own bedroom, yeah. I have my own room. My door is locked right now. So I don't <laughs> I have my door locked in the I have Enzo in the room and he's locked up and his litter box is in my room, his food, his water dish, everything and It's crazy, man. Like, I got my clothes all hung up and got my clothes in my drawer and I put my picture frames underneath the bed. And... It's very quiet and I can't sing and I can't dance and it just sucks, man. It sucks ass, dude. I really feel like I'm in prison. I really do. I feel like I'm trapped in a jail cell. And like I remember when I lived with my aunt Tina and how she controlled me with her money, with my money, and I couldn't have any like girlfriends over. And I had a curfew. I had to be home by like ten o'clock at night, and I wasn't allowed to do this, and I wasn't allowed to do that. That was a nightmare. And then like. Gabby came and saved me, and that's when I moved in with Aaron, and just, and that's, like, that's a family member, like, talking about, like, rules, rules, like, I felt like I was like, okay, I'm not gonna call you my aunt, I might as well call you fucking mom, like, fuck, dude, like, I'm a fucking, like, an adult, and, like, you take control of my money, you tell me I... I have to be home at 10 o'clock at fucking nighttime. Like, it's just, it was a, it was so, it was a nightmare, man. It was a nightmare. And, like, I left. Like, I just, I told Gabby, I called her. I said, Gabby, I, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Like, you got to take me out. And then she goes, just come live with me and Aaron. And I'm like, dude, I'm going. I'm gone. Do you have central air? No. like I miss singing I miss dancing I miss I just miss it man like I miss movie nights and it's, it's, it's a, this is just it's just it's not it's not fun like it's just I was I was happier over at Gabby's I might just well move in with Gabby like I'm I'm really thinking of just moving in with Gabby and just saying fuck it like But I don't know if I want to go that route. Do you have a TV in your room? I do. You miss being you. I do. I miss it so much. Like I miss it. But I really, like, I'm really debating on moving in with Gabby. Like, I'm, I'm really at this point right now where I'm probably going to talk to her tomorrow. He was happy with Gabby and Cammy. Well, yeah, because, like, I felt free. Like, I felt happiness. Like, I felt like I didn't, I didn't have rules and have to do this. And it's just, I felt like I was more happier there. It's hard when you can't be yourself. I don't know. Like, I'm going to talk to Gabby and see if I can. If I can just go live with Gabby. I'd rather just go live with Gabby and Cam and Aaron than being here, to be honest with you. It was good seeing you all together. That's a blessing. I loved it. Yeah, I saw how close you and Gabby was. Yeah. It was fun, like, I felt like, I gotta be, I gotta be, gotta be quiet, um, I kind of felt like I was, like, I was me, and then, like, I was just relaxed, and I was comfortable there, but, like, here, I'm just not comfortable, I'm just not, I'm not comfortable here, like, I'm just not, I'm not comfortable, like, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, I guess, I guess it's hard for me to explain it unless you've been in my position. 
you can't take the cat. No, I can't. Write down pros and cons, Danny. <sighs> You're getting streamed again. I can care less, dude. It's hard to move. Wait, hold on, what? It's hard to move under somebody else's roof with somebody else's rules. It's hard, like, it's really hard. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Like, it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's very hard. I'm not used to it. I'm just not, I'm not used to having rules. I'm not used to having boundaries and it's just, I don't know what the word is, y'all. <sighs> it sucks ass right now, dude. It's something you and Aaron Gabby have heart to heart talk about moving in. I really do. Jessica is so obsessed with you and wants to know every move you make, it seems like. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm going to talk to Gabby and I'm just going to see if I can move in with them. I really do. I'm going to make the move. I think I think she'll take me in. Like, I'm going to talk to her. And I think I'm just going to move in with Gabby. I don't even care if people know. I really don't care. I think I, that's that's the decision I want to go with. I think I'll be more happier there. I think I can be more of myself there. And I'll have Enzo locked up in the room. Like He'll have to be locked up until I can get on my own two feet. I don't know what else to do here. Just, I want to be able to like be myself and be happy and like do me, man. Like... Damn, like, 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 you gotta live under somebody else, man. It's not fun, dude. It is not fun. It is not an experience you want to deal with. It's like 32 years old, man, and I feel like I'm a kid again. Like, I'm a teenager. I really feel like I'm a, I'm a 17-year-old kid. Just gotta be quiet this time. You gotta, you gotta be quiet. You can't, you can't be loud. You can be me. It's oh. oh. It will still be quiet. Home essential chance they can just keep in mind. No, I'm not with my mom. I'm with the roommate. Because I'm not paying rent. Can you live with your mom? I mean, she doesn't want Enzo. No, like, I can't live with Bobby. Oh my god, oh my god, dude. Like, oh my lord, help me, Jesus. I, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would die. I would, I would die if I live with Bobby. I can't. I, I can't. I can't do it. I, oh God, no. Oh God. Oh God. I, 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 uh, uh, no way. Oh God. No, no way. No, I don't know this roommate, but my, uh, my mom does though. You know what? You 
Guys, I'm done. I'm I'm done. I'm done with personal questions. I'm done. Like I'm just I'm done answering questions. I'm done. Okay. I don't want to talk anymore. This is what it is, bro. Whatever. I know it will work out. Right, she has to wait a while to get a job. How can she pay rent if she has no job? She just moved out, people. Relax. It was right out at 10 when Gabby was with your grandma in December. Wait, what? <laughs> wait. At 10 o'clock, it's still light out? It's new, it's not permanent, keep faith. That's true. That's very true, unfortunately. You could try to stay with Gabby for a couple of nights and see how it goes before you commit. I don't know, I just think that living with Gabby would be more, it'd be more fun, like, And like the room's pretty big, like Is Jessica still streaming me? Yeah, Basil, I can. Yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Damn. Jessica, hold on, where's my remote? Let me talk to you, Jessica. Let me say something to you. Alright, let me say something to you, Jessica. I'm gonna say this as nice as I possibly can. You are a crazy, crazy, psycho, vile, disgusting human woman. I hope you can hear me. You're vile. And you are one pathetic human being. Like, you have no life. You are absolutely a disgrace to a lot of people. I don't even know how you have friends. I don't even know how you have your your. I, I I don't even understand it. I don't even get how sick your your head is. You're you're sick. You need mental help. You need meds. You need to be put in a fifty one fifty hold for your psychotic obsession with me, and my sister. Like, you are literally a disgusting, pitiful, selfish, miserable lady. I can't even imagine your husband wanting to be with somebody like you. I would never, ever would want to be with somebody like you. Like, I don't even know how your husband looks at you. I don't even know how your husband lays next to you. Knowing how disgusting and vile you really are. I wouldn't even want to touch you. I feel really bad for your husband. I feel really bad for your kids. I feel really bad for you. <laughs> Your husband's probably vile too. You need to get that sick, mental, disgusting, sick ass woman.
Maybe you should go buy a rose and do it on yourself. Guarantee your husband won't even touch that. I don't believe it. I wouldn't want to touch anything like that. Disgusting. Probably have cooties. Probably have STDs. Go work on yourself, Jessica. 